This is an overview of the post-grid widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. I have the post-grid widget by Unlimited Elements on the page and I'm going to take you over the settings. So I'm going to click it to edit and over here we have an option for layouts. So the first layout is the simple under layout which the content shows under the image. We have an overlay layout where the content shows only as a hover when you hover over the images. We have a under overlap which is a partial like overlap effect. We have partial overlay which um, overlays the image. For this effect we need to make the image bigger or uh, disable the title or the date or something like that. Let's just make the image bigger by changing the image height. Perfect. So that's an example. And we have the reveal from bottom which also only leaves the image. And when you hover over the content reveals from the bottom part of the box. Next setting is the amount of columns on desktop tablet and mobile so for, for example you can change this to four and it will show in four columns or you can change it to two and it will show in two columns perfect next setting are all sorts of colors for the title the text the date read more button text this is this button so for example you can change that to learn more and it shows over here the gap so I can disable the gap the gap is the space between the boxes grid I can change that to zero if I don't want any gap direction LTR RTL for different kind of language websites and we have alignment so for example I can align everything to the center and now it's aligned to the center if I want to align it to the left all the content will align itself to the left we have border radius for the button uh, image height as we showed before We can play around with the image height. I'm going to change that smaller. Perfect. Let's make this four columns and bring back the gap. So that's how easy it is to edit your post grid. We have content background. If you want to change the background of uh, the overlay or the part that's under the image and content padding if you want to push your content inside over here a little bit more inside for example like this you can do that so I think I went all over over all of the general settings now let's go over the post query in post query you can query your posts so sometimes you don't want to show all of the posts for example I'm just gonna show only four posts so I changed the maximum amount of posts and now I don't have 10 posts but I have only 4 posts and you can filter uh, this in any way you like for example post type if you want to show pages instead or custom post type and uh, you can change the ordering for example if I want to do this in a random way so each time a user will ref refresh the page or land on the page the posts will show in a random order. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to contact me.